So let's sit in cross leg the position. So welcome to your 45 minute animal inspired pinyasa flow. So today all of our poses is animal inspired. So let's have a bit of fun and just see, explore how our body is. If you think about like a cat, there's so many different cats. They look all different, they move so differently. So you don't need to look like me in class. Think about when you're in a pose, how can you make it yours? If a particular place feels good, stay there. If you want to bend a leg where we're supposed to be straight, then do it. It's your own expression. So when you're ready, hands onto the knees. Bring the shoulders, inhale up towards your ears. Exhale, bring it down. Inhale up. Exhale down. One more, inhale up. And exhale down. Gently close your eyes. Start to deepen your inhale and exhale, feeling your body settling onto the mat. Deeply inhale into the belly. Exhale, contract the belly, push all the air out. Deeply in. And out. One more in. And out. Relax the breath. Intention setting. Set an intention for the class. What do you, your body, or your mind really wants? With the intention in mind, we're going to sing three on to start the class. Deeply inhale into the belly. Oh. Second, inhale into the belly. One more inhale for all. Oh. Relax the breath. Feel the remaining vibration of the own. Gently open up your eyes. We're coming to our first pose of cat cow. So hands onto underneath the shoulders, knees hip width distance apart. Tuck the toes under. Inhale, push your chest towards the mat. Arch your back, open up the chest. And exhale, curl from the neck, upper back, mid back, lower back. Inhale, arch the back, look up towards the ceiling, open up the chest. Exhale, curl from the neck, upper back, mid back, lower back. Oh, pull the belly button towards the spine, chin towards your chest. Inhale, arch back. Push the belly button towards the mat. Bring the shoulders up towards the ears and open up front of the chest. And exhale, curl from the neck, upper back, mid back, 
lower back. Inhale, arch up, look up towards the side. Come into a variation. Exhale, come to child pose. Draw from the back. Mid back and sit back to child pose. Inhale, bend the elbow. Bring the chest on top of the mat and arch up. And exhale, curl from the upper back, mid back, lower back. Push back to child pose. Three more breaths in this variation. Deeper than what we got. <coughs> and deeper than your exhale. Deeply in. And out. Pull the chin towards your chest. Last inhale, arch up, look up towards the ceiling. And exhale, curl from the back and push back to child pose. <coughs> Variation three, come back to tabletop position. We're going to draw circles in our chest. Inhale, push the chest down towards the right. Exhale, curl the body up, chin towards chest, pull the belly button in and your left. Start drawing circles deeply, inhale. And exhale, warming up the spine. One more in. And out, draw circles onto the other direction. Inhale, push your chest down and left. Exhale, curling in and right, deepening your inhale. And deepening the exhale, close your eyes and let the body move in the way that it wants to move. One more in. And out. In the next five breaths, let the body move in the most creative way of cat cow. Or just whatever that you want to move. Feeling into the pulse. Move in a way that your body feels good. Three more deep in your inhale. We're trying to warm up the body before the vinyasa flow. One last in. And out. Oh, coming back towards neutral position, we're going to warm up our wrists. So, fingers pointing forward, start drawing circles, deepening your inhale. And deepening the exhale. To the other direction, deeply in. And out. Then sit back, stretch the wrist forward, feeling the opening. And exhale. Coming back to neutral, point the fingers outwards. And start drawing circles, deepening your inhale. And deepening the exhale. Roll the other way deeply in. And deeply out. And push back, stretch the outer wrist. One breath in and out. Coming back to center, pointing the fingers towards each other. Start drawing circles one direction. Open up the palms. Watch if your thumb is straightened on the mat. Draw circles the other direction, deeply in. 
And I'll stretch back. Hold palms onto the mat, feeling the outer restriction. Coming back to center, point the fingers towards yourself. Start drawing circles in one direction. Then the other direction, deepening the breath. Open up the palms strongly onto the mat, push your thumbs down. Then sit back, stretch it up, out the wrists. One deep in. And out. With the fingers still onto the mat, lift the palm, stretch out the finger deeply in. And out. Turn the palms towards the normal way, towards the front. Open up. The palms tuck the toes, come to your first downward facing dog. You're welcome to walk your dog, to warm up your hamstring. Deepening the inhale. And deepening the exhale. Warm up the shoulders. One more in. And out. We're coming to go to a flow. So when we inhale, we bend our knees. Lifting it one inch off the mat, come to kind of like a plank position. And exhale, push back to downward facing dog. Inhale, bend the knees towards the mat, but off the mat, then come to a plank. Then exhale, push back to downward facing dog. Inhale, knees forward, off the mat, forward. And exhale to downward facing dog. Three more rounds. Inhale back, activate your core. Push the hands away to plank. And downward facing dog, warming up our spine and our hamstring. Inhale back, and the knees hold the core. And downward facing dog. Last, inhale back, the knees come to a plank. And exhale to downward facing dog. In your down dog, hold the pose. Bring the shoulder internal rotation of the elbows. Open up the shoulder, push it away. Then let the heels up really high onto the mat. Push the uh, hips as high as possible, heels off the mat. Only your toes stretches out your feet. Holding the hips so high. Then lower down the ankle. Try to keep the hips up high. One more in. And out. Bend the knees. Rest in child pose for three breaths. Or warm up any areas that you want before we start our vinyasa flow. Three breath, breath. Doing whatever that gets you ready for the vinyasa flow. Deepening your inhale. And deepening your exhale. Deeply in. And out. One more in. And out. When you're ready, push yourself to a sitting position, then walk to the top of the mat. Roll the shoulders up and back. We're going to do sun salutation, please. Inhale, hands up to one to sit like look up. Exhale, hinges from the hips coming forward. When you are in forward fold, we're going to hold it here. Walk the feet hip with this in the part. Hands could be joined together like an elephant trunk and sway left and right, back and forth. Or just stretch out, interlace the finger and stretch out, sit your hips down. If you're an elephant, where do you want to move your trunk? 
Deepening your inhale. Make sure your belly button is on the thighs, bend your knees so much. And when you straighten your legs, you push the hips up. Two more breaths as an elephant. Move in a way that makes you feel good. One more deep inhale. And exhale, palms onto the mat and walk the feet back together. Then inhale, hands on the shin, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold, palms onto the mat. Inhale, plant the palms strongly onto the mat, jump back or step back to plank. Hold it here for one breath, deeply in. Activate your core. And out, one more in. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale to upward facing dog. We're gonna hold here for three breaths. Lift your knees off the mat. Open up front of the belly in front of the chest, look up. Two more deep inhale, look towards your left hip. And out back to center. And inhale the other hip. And out back towards center. And tuck the toes to downward facing dog for three breaths. Deeply in. And out. Inhale. And exhale, lengthen the back, beautiful ladies. Shake your head no to anything that doesn't deserve your energy. Shake your head yes to things and people that makes you feel energetic. One more in. And out. Bend your knees so much, look towards your hand. Inhale, jump front. And exhale to forward fold. And raise the body up, hands onto the sky. Inhale, bring all the energy from the universe. Exhale, palms onto the heart. Round two. Inhale, hands towards the ceiling. Exhale, hinges from the hips coming forward. Activate your ujjayi breath. Inhale, chin towards a hand onto the shin, flat back. Exhale, forward for oceanic breath. Hands onto the mat, inhale to plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale to upward facing dog. Exhale, push yourself back to downward facing dog. One breath before variation. Deeply in. And out. Three like a dog. Right leg onto the ceiling. Inhale, right leg onto the ceiling. Put the left heel down. Then bend the knees, open up the hips for one breath in. And out. Inhale, stretch back to three legged dog. Get ready to spider man crunch. Inhale, knees towards the chest, come to plank. Exhale, stretch back up to three legged dog. Inhale, right knee towards right elbow. Exhale to three like a dog. Inhale, right knee towards left elbow. Exhale to three like a dog. Now we're going to set up for pigeon. Inhale, knee towards the chest, knee towards the right wrist. Then set the calf down, move the left leg back. Come to the spidey fingertips. Inhale, open up the chest. Walk the hands closer to your body. Exhale, hold here. Two more breaths in. 
and out. One more again. And out. Move your hands back to normal position. Then tuck the left toes. Can you inhale and go to three-legged dog directly? Inhale to three-legged dog. Great job. With the three-legged dog, we're going to come to, you can either be in just downward dog, option one, option two, child pose, option three, the most active one. Come to me, three-legged dog, pinyasa flow. So with the right leg up, come to plant. Exhale, chaturanga, stay right leg up. Inhale, upward dog, down. And exhale to downward facing dog. One breath here, deep inhale. And exhale. Look towards your hand, step front or jump front. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, raise the body up, arms up towards the sky. Exhale, hands onto the heart. Round three. Inhale, hands towards the ceiling. Exhale, hinges on the hips coming forward. Inhale, hands onto the shin, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Hands onto the bottom, pop. hands onto the mat, jump back to plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale to upward dog. Exhale to downward facing dog for one breath in. And out. Inhale, lift the left leg onto the ceiling for three like a dog. Right up, ankle down. Open up the knees for one break in. And out, stretch your three like a dog again, spider man crunch. Inhale, knee towards the chest to plank. Exhale, lengthen. Inhale, knee towards left elbow. Exhale, lengthen. Inhale, left knee towards right elbow. Exhale, lengthen. Then setting up for pigeon. Bend the knees towards the chest. Left calf forward. Move the right knee back. Untuck the right toes. Walk the fingertips towards the body. Inspire the fingers. Open up the chest. Three breath in. And out. Micro adjustment. Move the left hip back. Right hip forward. One more again. And out. Last in. And out. Hands front onto the mat. Tap the right toes. Can you come back to three like a dog in one breath? In. And out. Option one, child pose. Option two, downward facing dog. Option three, three like a pinyasa. Inhale to plank with left leg up. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale to upward dog. Exhale, push back to downward facing dog. Great job. Look towards your hands, bend your knees, walk front or jump front. Then exhale to forward fold. Inhale, hands up towards the ceiling. Exhale, palm towards the chest. Amazing job. We're going to bend our knees so much that inhale, coming to chair. Hold the core. And exhale, holding it here. And bring your right knee on top of the left for eagle pose. Right knee on top of the left. If you want to eagle your arms to left elbows on top of the right. Squeeze the hands together so you are opening up the shoulders. One more in. And I'll hold the eagle. We'll have variation to warrior three. Release your right feet and kick it back to warrior three with eagle arms. One more in. And I'll step the back foot, right foot back to warrior one, adjust the stand. 
Still ego, looking up, knee back bend, bend the knees front, bend the front knees in, and out, release the hands, inhale to warrior one. Exhale, opening up to warrior two, adjust the back feet up. Reverse warrior, inhale, left hands forward, and exhale, reverse warrior. Inhale, cat wheel the hands on top of the mat. Then we're coming to listen. So we bring the right knee down onto the mat, and tuck the toes. Walk the left feet outside of the left hands. Then inhale, open up the chest. Look forward. Exhale, stay here. Two more breaths. Feel the left hip opening in. Come to tippy fingers to open up the chest more. And out. Right hand strongly onto the mat. Left hands on the left knees and push the left knees open. So only the outer direction of our feet is on the mat. And look back, twist. Relax your right calf. Relax your right thighs. One more in. And out, hands onto the mat, tuck the right toes, step back to downward facing dog. Hold here for three breaths, I'll come to the dolphin. Dolphin is downward facing dog with elbows onto the mat. And push your upper back up, push your hips up, yes, three more in. And out. In and out. Last inhale. And exhale. Straighten your hands back to downward facing dog. Look towards your hand. Step front or jump front. And exhale to forward fold. Inhale, chair up. Inhale to chair. Exhale, straighten up our legs, hands onto the chest. Round five, inhale to chair. Exhale, holding it here, ego onto the other side. Bring the left knee on top of the right. Right elbow on top of the left. Three breaths in. And I'll hold the core, squeeze the palms together so you're opening up the shoulders. One more in. And I'll hold the hands and release the leg to warrior three. Left leg out to warrior three. One breath in. And I'll step the left foot back to adjust the right foot forward to warrior one. In ego hands, lock up, inhale. And exhale, release the hands. Hands straight onto the sky. And just bend the elbows. Give yourself a bear hug. Great job for making to 60% of the class. Really good flow. Inhale to warrior one again. Exhale, opening up to the side to warrior two. Adjust the back foot. Reverse warrior two. Inhale, right hand forward. Exhale, bend to reverse warrior two. Great job, cut with the hands onto the mat inside the right leg. So you're in lizard pose. Release the left knee if you can. Then walk into the um, spiny fingers, open up the chest. Feeling the opening of the right thighs. Two more in. And ah, one more in. And our left hands onto the mat, right hands onto the knees, and push your knees open. Twist towards the back, let the left thighs get closer to the mat. One more in. And out, hands back onto the mat. Step back to downward facing dog. One more inhale. And exhale. 
So look towards the hand, jump front to a squat pose. So use your elbows to open up the knees. Lengthen the lower back deeply in. And out. Two more breaths in. And out. Last breath in. And out. Activate your core. I want a smoothness transition to bow pose without the hands touching the ground. So sit back and straighten the legs and hands. Use your core for three breaths in and out. In and out. Last inhale and exhale. Lie back onto the mat. Good job. Bend the feet to butterfly. Just two recovery breaths. Relax the shoulders. Relax the hips. Relax the knees. One more in. And out. Core isn't over. So come back, sit onto the mat. Hands back. We're going to do the mermaid. So hands pointing towards the body. Yeah, you can bend forward. Activate your core. Bring the, imagine you're holding your feet. Bring the um, mula bandha up. So you're really holding this. Yeah, when you're ready, glue the feet together like a mermaid. The mermaid has straight legs, right? So inhale, bend. Exhale, bring the leg towards the side. Inhale, bend. Exhale, bring the leg towards the other side. In, out. Ten more in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out. Last four in, out, in, out. Activate the core. Don't cheat. In, out, in, out. Last in. Out. Great job. Just straighten up the feet. Get the hips. Um, bring the butt cheek up. Just a forward pull. Inhale, stretch the hands up. Lengthen the lower back. Lengthen the chest. And exhale, coming forward 45 degrees. Relax your hands anywhere that you can. Or you could bend your knees and get use your uh, use the Asian V. Join the two toes together. Two fingers together and hook onto the toes. Flex your feet. Then lengthen the back. Open up the chest. And when you exhale, push the feet forward. Try to get the belly button glued to the thighs. Deeply in. And out. In. And out. Last inhale, and exhale. Let's have some fun. Bend our knees, hold onto the toes. Can you open up to a balancing feet? So bow pose with hands onto the feet. So try to balance and straighten the feet as much as you can. Deeply in, and out. One more in and out. Bend our knees. Come back to butterfly pose. Grab the butt cheek up. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, coming forward 45 degrees. One more in and out. We're going to lie onto the mat with belly onto the mat. Coming to spins. So elbows underneath the shoulders. Palms straight. Yes, roll the shoulders up and back. Deeply in. 
Feeling your meat back opening. Relax your belly. So you could lengthen the meat back. One more in. And out. Without changing the position, open up your palms strongly onto the mat. And let the elbows up to still. Feeling the meat back deepening, opening, maybe even the lower back. One more in. Relax the belly more, lengthen your abs, lengthen the belly and the chest. And slowly coming down, coming to crocodile. down. So elbows together, join the hands together into this flower shape, then put your uh, face onto the flower shape. Yeah, I'll give you a better. Yeah, elbows together, walk the elbows as further away as possible and just relax your neck. Relax the top of the shoulders. Deeply in. And deeply out. One more in. And out. Slowly push yourself to the child pose for three breaths. Open up the knees onto the mat. Relax the shoulders. Relax the neck. Deepening your inhale. And deepening the exhale. One more in. And uh, walk yourself up. Knees together. Oh, sorry. Knees hip width this in the park. Tuck the toes. We're going to set up for camel. So hands onto the hips. Yeah, hands onto the hips. Bring the hips up. Inhale, hands up towards the ceiling. Exhale to knee, knee back bend. You could either hold here or hands onto the back to support the back. Push your pelvis forward as much as possible. If you want to get deeper, you could have your hands onto your ankle. Keep pushing pelvis up. Bear, push pelvis forward. Deeply inhale. And exhale. One more in. And out. Hands onto the lower back. Slowly come back up. Come to child pose for three breaths in. And out before round two. Deepening your inhale. And exhale. One more in. And out. Slowly walk your body up and come up to round two of camel. Making sure you're pushing the pelvis out. So even when you're going down with the hands, if your pelvis is not up, you're not stretching the lower back. So if this is too much for you, just focus on the pelvis. So hands onto the back. You could untuck the toes. Uh, palms, uh, fingers pointing up and inhale. Just push the pelvis up. We're not going to release the hands. Push the pelvis up. Open up the chest. Get the elbows and the back together as close as possible. Feeling your shoulder blades taking, trying to get closer towards each other. One more in. And out, slowly coming back. Lying onto the mat. And just relax 
for three breaths. In. And out. Inhale. And exhale. One more in. And ah. Rotate until your belly is onto the left. Last two pose to scorpion. So scorpion is really like shoulder stretch. But the difference is I'm going to put my left hands, just a demonstration, rather than a straight 90 degree, I'm going to put up. And then still the same, hands onto the face. The difference is I don't bend my bottom leg. So I may bend and stretch out, but then I stretch it out and just bring it to the back. So this is called a scorpion pose. And then you deeply inhale and exhale. But you can see that I'm not bending my legs, I'm stretching it out. And my hands, rather than at 3 p.m., it's more at like 1 or 2 p.m. So when you're ready, we'll set up the right hands to 1 or 2 p.m. Then bring the right face onto the mat. Left hand next to your face. Bend the left knee. Roll the knees back and straighten the left leg. Straight, 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 like a scorpion. Bending the left elbow, keep on here, feeling the right shoulders opening. Also feeling your uh, left thighs opening. When you're trying to stretch your toes as further away, as straight as possible. Two more in. And out. Last inhale, and exhale, bring the legs back, bring the shoulders back. Great job, setting up for the other side, left hands to 11 or 10 p.m., open up the palms, left cheek onto the mat, right hand next to the face, first bend the right knee up and roll back. Well, after you have roll back, straightening up the right leg. Deeply in. Keep the left hands in front of the face and bend like a scorpion. Feeling your left shoulders opening. Feeling your left thighs opening. Deepening your inhale. And exhale. One more in. And out. Roll yourself to your, when you're, until your back is on the mat. Last pose. Happy baby before Safasana. Bend the knees towards the chest. Grab hold of the inner outer edge of the feet and pull the thighs down onto the mat. To stay in stillness or drive your feet like a car, left and right, left and right, left and right. One last inhale. And exhale, straighten up the legs. Relax the whole body onto the mat, tuck the shoulder blades in. Relax your head. Relax your eyebrows. Relax your jaw. Relax the shoulders. Relax the neck. Relax the whole arm. Your elbow, your wrist, all 10 fingers. Relax the upper back, mid back, lower back. Relax the hips, relax the thighs, the knees, the calf, the ankle, and all ten toes. Savasana.
Wiggle your fingers. Wiggle your toes. Feet together, interlace the hands. Give yourself a big, big stretch. Bend the knees towards the chest. Roll yourself towards the right hand side. With the right toes, slowly push yourself to a cross like this sort of position. Coming back to the beginning. Deepening the inhale. And deepening the exhale. Deeply in. And out. Last deep long inhale. And exhale. We are going to sing one om and Sri Shanti to end the class. Deeply inhale into the belly. Oh. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Hands in prayer procession in front of our heart. May our heart be filled with playfulness, creativity, and happiness. Bowing forward, namaste.